In this video, I'll show you how to use motion blur. So I have this propeller scene right here, and if you hit play, you can see that it spins, which will give us some very nice motion blur once we put it in. And the way that we put it in is I'll go to the render settings and I'll just check motion blur. And then we can open this up and you can see that we have all these different settings right here. And I'll just add in a camera, put it right here, and add in a quick sun lamp. Then if we render frame 10 or 13, we can see that we have some very nice motion blur. And if we come out of here, we can just turn up the shutter. And now we can render it again. And we have a bit more. So if we turn the shutter all the way down to say 0.1 and render it, you can see that we have very little motion blur. There is very little motion blur right here. So I'm just going to have this about at a 0.7 and this looks pretty darn good. So with that, I am going to turn the steps up to five. And that will give us a higher shutter speed. And if you go right here, you can see one, two, three, four, five. It's kind of hard to see right here, but um, like there's one shutter here, two shutter, three shutter, four shutter, five shutter. So now we have sh five steps right here. And then the background separation, we can just turn this up to like a 200 and I'll turn this to black just so we can view this better. And we can see that this separates it from the background a bit more. And then the max blur is right here. And if I take this down to about three pixels and render it, then this is very low detail, right? But if I turn it way up to say 100 pixels and render it, then it's very high detail. So I'll just keep that at about 50 pixels and I'm gonna turn these steps up to 20 and I'll turn the shutter way up. Now we have some crazy motion blur and that is the end of the tutorial. It was just a uh, small little tutorial. I have some much bigger stuff coming up, so stay tuned for that, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.